Hey everybody, this is part two of how to create complex steampunk gears in Corel Draw. And I got a few more I'm going to show you that are a little bit harder, so let's get on with those. So we'll grab a five inch circle again, press C to center. This time we're going to create a tooth that's kind of rounded here and more triangle shape here. So let's blow this up a little bit. I'm going to grab a, the ellipse tool, make a circle. I'm going to do 0.5 by 0.5. I'm going to get my pick tool. I'm going to click here in the middle of it. I'm going to hold down control, drag it over. You'll see that little blue dash, that little blue dotted line showing I'm dragging it in a straight line. I'm just going to drag that over here, right click, make a copy of that. Now this is 0.5 by 0.5, so we're going to click this one and we're going to make that 1.5 tall. And we're going to make it 0.25 wide, like that. I want to right click this, convert to curves. I'm going to right click on this one, convert that one to curves. Now I'm going to get my shape tool. Let's blow this up a little bit more. Click on this with my shape tool. I'm going to select this node, hold down shift, select this node. I'm going to come up here to the menu. Right here, you'll see this little line with the square and then the two broken squares. So we're going to break these two curves apart. So we'll click that, break those two apart. Then I've got to get my pick tool, right click on it, break curve apart. I could select this bottom piece and delete it. Now I'm going to grab my circle, shape tool. I'm going to click this dot. I'm going to click this dot. After I select these two points, I'm going to go to break the curve. Now I've got to get my pick tool again right click, break the curve apart, select this part, and I'm going to delete that. So I've got this curve. Now I'm going to click that, press Control D to duplicate. Then I'm going to come up here to my mirror tool. I'm going to mirror that horizontally. Click, hold down Control, drag it over to right there. Click this one, hold Control, drag it over to there. Now we kind of have that shape. All right, it's still not right yet, so Got to do a little more fooling around with it. So we're going to grab our shape tool. We're going to click this and we're going to click this. And we're going to select those two points there. Come to our join curves, extend. We'll just hit apply and that'll put those together. Now we're going to click this one, click this one, grab those two and we'll join those together. And it looks like these up here need to be joined too. So with that one selected, we'll hold shift, select this side, grab those two points, and we'll join those together. All right, the next thing we want to do is we want to work on this curve right here. So what I want to do is select this node, come up here, and I want to select this smooth node. Now I'm going to grab this triangle right here at the bottom of the triangle. Let me blow this up a little bit more. With this node selected, I'm going to grab this triangle right down here at the bottom of the triangle so I can see the point. I'm going to click, I'm going to drag that over, and when the point of that arrow gets to that line, I'm going to let go and leave it there. Then we'll click on this one, come up here, smooth node, click on the node, click the bottom of that arrow, drag it over, right when it gets on that line, let it go. And now I have that curve the way I want it. We'll click this middle node, we'll select symmetrical here. And I want to bring those in just a little bit. This one, arrow it down one. This one, arrow it down one. Now what I want to do is put a line down here about right there. And I want to move these arrows up. Move that one straight up to there. Click this one. Move this one straight up to there. Now when we rotate these around, these will line up. I actually want to move this in just a little bit more. There we go. Now it's more straight. All right, so after we get that done, I want to click on this and I want it to be 0.5 inches wide by point, let's say 0.65 inches tall. So then it'll look like that. So it's a half an inch wide, 0.65 inches tall. Now we'll zoom back out. Zoom back in just a little bit on that circle. Now I'm going to take this, I'm going to center it up 
center that with my blue line. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here to my object manager and I'm gonna add a layer. I'm just gonna call it tooth. I'm gonna click that. I'm gonna do control X, cut it. I'm gonna click on that tooth layer and then I'm gonna paste that back in on that tooth layer. That way when we rotate it around, we can just select that layer and join them together instead of having to click each one individually. So I'm gonna click on it twice, move this down to the center. I'm gonna to go to my transform tool, blow this up a little more so we can see. I wanna make sure these ends are lining up. So let's try 12 degrees. All right, that'll work. So we'll rotate these around at 12 degrees. You'll see there's a little gap in there, but once we join those together, the join tool will add that little piece in there to connect them. So I'm gonna scale this back down a little bit. I'm gonna finish rotating these all the way around. Now what I'll do is go back to my object manager and then I can click on this curve, hold shift, click on this curve and select all of those. I can come to my join curves. Let's blow that up again where we can see it. And you can see this little blue line showing that it's gonna connect those. So now when I hit apply, it joins all those together. Now what we can do is click on that. We'll give that a fill color. We'll go back to our symbols manager, drag this over, copy that into there. We'll call it gear four. And with this selected, you'll see it has these blue dots, meaning that it's still connected to this one. So I forgot to take this stroke off. So what I need to do is edit this to take that stroke off. So next time I pull one out, it won't have a stroke on it. So I'm gonna right click on this image. I'm gonna go to edit symbol. Now I can click on it. I can right click on this little X to take the stroke away. Right click on the symbol again, finish editing symbol. And now the stroke's gone. And then you'll notice here that the stroke, if I pull one out, you'll notice that the stroke is gone. So that way, if you save it and you need to edit it, you can edit it. It'll resave whenever you save the document again. So then I'm gonna right click on this, revert to object, and I'm gonna go to my object manager. I'm just gonna do control X to cut that. And I'm just gonna go back here to my layer one. and want to paste that back in. I just paste that to my layer one instead of having it on a separate layer now. Then I'm gonna right click on this, order, send to the back. So we still have that little circle that we had a while ago. Grab this purple one, right click, revert to object. Anytime you see those little blue squares, you know it's still connected to your symbol manager. So just right click on it and revert it to an object. So now I'm gonna hold shift. I'm gonna drag that in some, maybe to about right there. And I'm gonna grab a center piece. Press P to center that. Right click, revert to object. And I'm just gonna leave that at one inch by one inch. Now what I wanna do is I wanna get my pen tool. We're gonna to create a custom stroke here for the center of this gear. So I'm gonna click here, drag out these handles. And then I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna click over here. I'm gonna click and drag out those handles. Then I'm gonna click on my pick tool. Then click on my shape tool so we can edit this. So we'll click that and we'll edit this shape. And I'm gonna change the color of this circle so we can see a little better. Go back to my shape tool. I'm gonna to click on that, drag this down, click on this one, drag that one up. Actually, I'm gonna bring this over here to the center right there. Drag that over there a little more. And when you're doing this, you can make it whatever shape you want it to be. However you want the shape to look. All right, so I'm just gonna leave mine like that. And I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna go over and select my pick tool again. Come over to my stroke weight. Let's do 12. I'm gonna move these points just a little bit to make sure they're in, this one's outside that circle. And you can adjust this however you want to adjust it. Now I have the line. Now I'm gonna do object, 
convert outline to object. Now I'm going to click on this again, move my rotation point here to the center, and I'm going to rotate this around. So I'm going to come to my transform tool. I'm going to type in 360 divided by, uh, let's do 6. Oops, maybe 360 would work better. 360 divided by 6. And we'll hit apply. And we'll rotate those around. Now I want to select all these shapes here. And I'm going to select that center piece. I'm going to weld all those together. All right, so with this middle part selected, we're going to select this blue part. And we're going to do back minus front and knock that out. We're going to grab our blue shape. We're going to grab our gear. And we'll do back minus front and knock those out. Now we're going to go back to our symbols, drag out a center, right click, revert to object, P to center. We'll just do 0.5 for the center. We'll click this, we'll click the center, back minus front. Now we'll change the color on that. And then we have that gear like that. You can make this shape whatever you want, but you know, you can make them more straight or different curves or whatever. All right, so that's our fifth one. So on this one, let's drag out a copy of that gear we just made, gear four, P to center, right click, revert to object. And we're gonna grab a five inch circle, press P to center. Right click, revert to object. We're gonna hold shift, scale that down a little bit. That's pretty good right there. Now we're gonna grab our ellipse tool and we're gonna draw an ellipse. I'm just gonna hold P to center that. Change the color, remove the stroke. And actually I don't even wanna feel on that. I wanna be able to see that outline. So I'm just gonna put a hairline outline on it. I'm gonna hold control, click, and drag that straight up so it stays in a line and I wanna put it the edge right on that edge. I want to line up those edges right there. I'm going to get my pick tool. I'm going to hold shift, click on this middle node, and I'm going to scale that in a little bit. Right there where this curve matches that curve is what I want. Now I can give that a fill, take off the stroke. I'm going to zoom back out, zoom in just a little bit. Actually, I want to make this a little bit smaller. Let me zoom back in on that. I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to scale this down some. I'm going to hold control, drag that back up, snap it back to that line again. I think that'll work okay. I'm going to click on this twice, move the center point. I'm going to rotate this around. I want five of these. So 360 divided by five. I'm going to apply that around like that and that's just a little bit too big so I'm gonna undo that click back on there shift scale that down a little more control shift drag let it snap to that line I'm gonna grab this bottom node here I'm gonna move that up just a little bit just so a little more of this edge is on the edge of that bigger circle now I'm gonna scale this back out again Make sure this rotation point is on the center again. I still have my 72 degrees, so I'm going to apply that around. That's much better. Got a little more space in between here. Now I'm going to go back to my symbol manager, drag out one of those centers, right click, revert to object, P to center. Now what I want to do is come over here to my polygon tool, click, go down to basic shapes, Click on the basic shapes. We want to get this raindrop or teardrop. And I'm going to drag that out like that. I'm going to fill that with a color. Take off the stroke. Maybe a little bit lighter color. I'm going to get my pick tool. I'm going to right click on this, convert to curves. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. I want to fix this kind of weird looking, it's not very smooth transition. So I kind of want to fix that. Get my shape tool, click on this, drag that in. Click on this, drag that in. I get drag these in to where they about, they line up with that line, not like that. I'm gonna click this, make sure it's on symmetrical, make that a little wider, more like that. I'm gonna stretch that out a little bit more. Now I'm gonna select this whole thing. And since we rotated these around 72 degrees, I want to rotate it where this is in the center up here. 
So since this was 72, halfway between would be 36. Do no copies. Rotate that 36 degrees. Hit apply. Now you'll see we have this open area here. I want to take this, line it up in the center. There. I want to hold shift. I want to scale this down a little bit. I need to scale it back up just a hair. All right, that'll work. Now I want to click on this twice, grab that rotation point, center it. Now I want to change this back to 72 so it rotates in between. Apply that. Whoops, we got to add a copy. Just apply that all the way around. Now I want to grab this whole thing again. I want to rotate it at another 36 degrees, no copies. So now we have this back in the center. I want to grab my ellipse tool. Well, actually, let's just grab the center one. We'll hit Control D to make a copy. And we'll just do 0.35. We'll change the color on that. And I'm going to drag that up here. And right in there looks pretty good. Click. Drag the rotation point down here to the center. Go back to 72 degrees. One copy. Rotate those around. And I think we have all of our pieces now. We can click on this purple one and we'll just delete that one. Then we'll select this whole thing here and we'll do back minus front and we'll knock all those pieces out so we have a gear like that with all of these custom graphics built into it. And if we want to, we can undo that. We can save these little teardrops here to our Symbols Manager. We'll just click on this bottom one here, make a copy. And I want to rotate that around 180. No copies, hit Apply. And I'll put that in our Symbols. We'll just say Teardrop. Then we can just delete that one since we already have them in here. We can also save this one over there. We can just say Oval one just right click and revert that back to an object now we have those saved over here in our symbols we can select all this again back minus front and there we have that gear now i'm going to go back to this gear three that we used before press p and i'm going to round those corners off again so we'll go back to our fillet we'll do 0 0.04 0 0.05 apply round those corners off this time I'm going to save it to my Symbols Manager, and I'm going to call that Gear 3R for rounded off corners. So we'll select that, press P, right click, revert the object, and we already have the outer part done, so we're just going to work on the middle. So for this one, what we're going to do is we're going to grab the center, right click, revert the object, P, I think I'm going to do that 0 0.75, 0 0.75. Then I'm going to do Control D to make a copy, change the color, and we'll do that one maybe 0 0.3, eh, a little bigger, maybe 0 0.4. That'll work. I'm going to go ahead and select that and knock that out, back minus front. I'm going to grab a 5 inch circle, press P to center. I'm going to right click, revert to object, come over here to right click, take out the fill. Then I'm going to left click to add a stroke and we'll do maybe five. That'll work. Okay, so now we want to scale this down. Hold shift, click, scale it down. Maybe to about there. That'll work. Now we want to get our rectangle tool. We'll draw a rectangle. And let's just do it eh, 0.25 wide. That's okay. We'll give it a color, take off the stroke. Or 0.2 maybe. 0.2. All right, so I'm going to bring this over, center that up, put it right there. I'm going to grab that, click on it twice, move my rotation point down here to the middle. Then I'm going to rotate this around. Let's see, I want to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'll have eight. Transform 360 divided by eight. And apply. Oops, we got to put one copy. Apply that all the way around. Now we have that the way we want it. All right, the next one we're going to do, we'll create an oval. 
let's just do 0.25 by 0.25 and I'm going to click that drag it down here make a copy right click to make a copy grab my rectangle tool I'm going to click here make that rectangle fit between those two now I want to grab this whole thing and I want to weld it together like that now I want to see if it fits here okay now I want to add a stroke to that let's try a 10 point stroke I'm going to go back to this blue stroke that we created and I'm going to do that about 8 points and then we'll just shift and we'll scale that down just a tiny bit that'll be good and then this one we're going to get our shape tool grab those bottom three nodes again and we're just going to arrow those down some about to there we'll grab these top three nodes we'll arrow those up about right there now we'll get our pick tool again click on this twice actually before we do that let's click on it come over here to object convert outline to object and we'll also click on this stroke and we'll do object convert outline to object now I'm going to click on this twice move the rotation point here to the center and I want four of these so I'm going to do 360 divided by four I'll apply those around there and that's pretty much it except we just select it all and we'll weld all that together and there's our shape and if you want more of these shapes in between you can add more in if you wanted to put some of these in between you can do you can add those in like that then you could weld it all together that way you could have more of those shapes we'll just use the shape we've already created before we'll just use this purple one P to center it right click revert to object and I'm going to click and right click and make a copy of that so we'll grab a center piece revert to object P to center I just want to show you how you can use some of these objects just to kind of create custom gears so if we had this object we could put it there we could rotate it a little bit to get it to fit right the way we want it scale it down a little bit and we could have that piece there like that and we could click on it move our rotate tool to the center and scale that up a little bit so we can see better then we could just rotate this around. Let's say we want five of those. 360 divided by five. And just apply those around. Then we could select those pieces. Select that middle piece. Weld those together. So we just grab this piece we weld together. Grab our gear. Back minus front. And we have a gear like that. Bring the center piece over. Right click. Revert to object. P to center. We'll hold shift. We'll scale that down a little bit. Then we can control D to duplicate that. We'll change the color. Shift, drag that down some. And then we'll knock that out. We'll grab those two middle pieces, back minus front. Then we can grab the gear and grab this. Weld all that together. And you can have a gear like that with these custom shapes in there. We'll grab another one of these. P to center. We'll grab a center piece. Revert to object. We'll just say one of those over here too. We'll drag one over, right click to make a copy, P to center, and I think I'll just do this one 0.75. I'm going to grab this little arrow, let's change the color so that it shows up, and we'll do order to the front of the page, click on that, shift, scale that down just a little bit, alright, so we got that there, now we'll click twice move the rotation point to the center and then we'll rotate this all the way around let's say we want to rotate those let's do 360 divided by 24 yeah that'll work we just rotate these all the way around and we just grab that whole thing there and we'll do back minus front and just knock all of those out and if you want to before you do that you could unselect this, unselect that, and then click and scale those up from the center, maybe to about there. Then we can select the center and the gear with those arrows and do back minus front, and then just knock those out like that. All right, next one, 
P, copy, P. This time we'll grab this little music note, object, order to the front. We'll scale that down and line that up there. Just so you can see that you can use any kind of object you want here for the center. And then you can rotate that around. Just so say we want eight of those, 360 divided by eight. Just apply those around. Grab the whole thing, back minus front, knock all those out. And then this one, we'll just do this one more. P to center, we'll object order to the front. We'll grab this one, order to the front. Just put that there. Scale it down a little bit. Actually, I want to flip that around. I'm just going to do 180 degrees. Rotate from the center, no copies. Rotate it that way. Then I'm going to click on that, bring that to my center. Then I'm going to rotate these around. Uh, let's try 12 degrees. One copy. Yeah, that's good. And we'll just rotate those all the way around. We can grab all that. Back minus front. Knock all those holes out, and then you got a gear like that. And here's all the complex gears we created in this video. So I guess that's about it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Be sure to show off your creations on our Facebook page, Rhino X Nation. If you have a question or comment, please leave them in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you later.